you know, for me, I've always tried to be the better person, tried to be the better person through any adversity, through anything that comes at you through life. What can I learn from this? What can I grow in wisdom? You know, how can I grow wis- You know, how can I grow wisdom out of this? How can the insight that I've now learned help him, help me be that better person? And and life for me is that journey of always evolving and trying to be better. And um, that's been my view of the world for as long as I can remember. And um, the one thing I didn't want was to fall into that same lower person that indeed was Luke's father, Greg. And I still try to be that better person. And, you know, often I fail my own expectations. I mean, I'm now struggling with trauma and post-traumatic stress and it affects your daily life in ways that people will never don't understand you know you can be triggered by some little thing each day that invokes a huge response out of you an emotional response an angry response a screaming shouting response but people don't understand they don't know why and it's difficult to control if not impossible to control so you know three years later um, I can say my emotional um, fr- 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 fragility is, is stronger. I, I'm, I'm better each week, I feel. But the sadness is still deep and the grief hits you um, in waves. And I think that, you know, what I've learned is we don't know how to talk about grief and we don't know how to help people who are grieving. And it's another uncomfortable subject nobody wants to talk about. Who wants to talk about death and tragedy and something that unspeakable so people will avoid you or they will look at you with great pity and so you know initially when I lost Luke I thought how how can I I don't know anybody that's been murdered I don't know anyone that knows anyone that's been murdered and now I'm one of those people that murder has entered into my life and when you know people see you and they look at you with such pity and sadness, you wear it like a cloak. And then there are other friends that you don't see anymore, Um, whether it's because your grief is too confronting or whether it's their guilt because they have children and you've lost yours, Um, whether it's just an uncomfortable dynamic and it's easier to separate. So when you lose somebody like this, you lose your life. You don't just lose your son, you lose your life. And I feel so fortunate that I've been able to find the strength to just push through each day, to just get up and push through and try to be the best person I can be every day. And I know where it comes from. I lost my mother when I was six years old. And that little girl who was six years old did what I'm doing now. So when I lost Luke, it's like my body was familiar with a pain and how to push through that pain by um, just keep doing.